Hello, I'm back again for another video log of Japan Crate, the 8th year anniversary, 2014. So that's when I started, and I've been with them since. Yeah, ups and downs, some boxes are great, some, bo some boxes are pretty bland, depending on our contents, of course, because you get too repetitive on things we've had many times before. It just gets stupid. And here are the various items in this box. Here, I'll go over here that way you can see it better. There's some repetition in there. Let me turn it that way. As you can see, some, some things we've had before. There's a couple of new things, which is good. And they have another one of these, these cool little gatefold covers. I like that. And you can open them up. I really like this design. So let's get to the drink first. Since I've had it out a little bit here, it might be getting slightly warm. Don't want that. I don't recognize it. It's a, it looks like a cream soda. And it is. This retro themed soda looks like a total throwback. Serve it chilled to, a f to fully enjoy the refreshing vanilla ice cream flavor. Ooh. That sounds really good. Mm. Yep, there's a cream scent to it. Mm. I've never been a cream soda fan. I've never actually had them. I know the flavor. I've scented them when others had them around me. But this is pretty good. It's like a, a Sprite with an alkaline base to it, in a way. Um, in that also has, because the lemon has a lemon flavor mixed with vanilla. So it's quite nice. Or a Ramoon type t taste to it. And there is my box. The new the interior hasn't really changed, but so let's start with something new. Obviously, needs a little dagashi snack here, which belongs to I believe it's yeah these are going to be the vegetable snacks on on my booklet here. It shows a carrot instead of a onion. Game time! These cute and crispy crackers are flavored using 11 kinds of vegetables. Do you think you can guess them all? It comes in one of four designs. Hmm. It smells like the breadsticks you get at Olive Garden or somewhere. Or some Italian restaurant. But they're little, uh, nice little sticks there. Breadsticks. Boy, that's bland. Let me try something. See if... They have zero salt. Well, I wouldn't say zero. Probably 5% salt. There's very little in here. Excuse me. That's basically useless. I mean, they're they're tasty. In the if you just like toasted bread, that's all you're getting. I really don't have any flavor in it whatsoever. You would expect if it's got what did you say it was again? Uh, Eleven kinds of vegetables. That should give it some really out beautiful flavor to it and, and taste. Instead, it's just, it's like eating a crouton, in a way. Or a, a breadstick without salt. That's basically what you're getting. And in what salt is used, it's in the pastry itself instead of on the top. So it's very, very minimal in the background, just during the baking of it. But taste-wise, that's kind of reminds me of the pariki sticks that we get occasionally in these boxes. 
and they're bland, really. They both companies need to step up their game on flavoring their breads to be more palatable. Palatable. <laughs> now we have a DIY. This looks weird. Get it to open up a little bit more here so you can see it. That character looks familiar. I forgot his name. This goes to... Where is it hiding? Oh, sorry. This is a bonus item. Shin Chan Experiment. Team up with Crayon Shin Chan for the science experiment. With this DIY, you get to fill your flask with concoctions and watch it change color. So you can pour 11 millimeters of water into a flask, add the purple powder, let it dissolve, then the second powder, do the same with that. Watch your concoction change to a surprising new color. Relax and enjoy the drink you and Shin Chan just made straight from the flask or with a straw. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see uh, what the contents look like. So we have a cool little uh, beaker with Crayon Shin Chan's face on it. It's nice. Nice and strong. We have two colors. Looks like maybe cherry and grape. And then a straw. It's probably going to be flavorful. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. I mean, just I'd have to pause the video for a while, let it cool down in the freezer and fridge, and I'm, I'm not going to go through that much extent. Uh, but if it was a quicker process, I would. We have another one of the Sherbert Colas. Same thing as like dipping sticks that we have around here, but in this case, it's a lollipop you stick dip in. And it's going to be the, the cola sugar that you dip it in. These are good. I still have some over in my box over here of items that I still haven't eaten that will last a long time. We have a little Dragon Ball gum with whatever his name's face on the front. And it comes in 10 different designs. Let's see what the flavor is. I'm going to say either Ramoon or Grape. One of the two. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> it's cola. As you can see. Yeah, that's cola, all right. Really nice scent to it. It's like a more sweet cola. Ramon type. Then we have the flavor gum that turns your tongue black. Or is this one green? Since it's got a, instead of a green tongue. Um, yep, this one's, this one's green. Normally, if it feels black or some other color. The this would, the little tongue-like thing is going to be a different hue. And these these don't need to be put in the boxes. I mean, I how many people are going to enjoy these? I've tried them in the past, and it's just like eating paste. But this is the mochi uh, Yoko Mayokan. Yakimo, wait. Yeah. Yakimo Yokan? Maybe? I ever tried Japanese sweet potato? Experience the unmistakable flavor in the gooiness of this freshly baked sweet potato snack. But it's more mochi flavored. And I believe that's what it is. It's got sweet potato in it, but it's, it's not really great. I mean, if you like sweet potato, you probably enjoy it. I'm not a big fan of it. But at the same time, it's just like eating that combined with paste. It's a gooey paste. Not a big fan. Ooh, got some more of these. These are nice. These are little um, mochi tabs. Uh, Minkan mochi. In this case, it's Mandarin. These are always 
really good. We've had them in many different flavors, as you've seen over the years. There it is. It's like a little uh, chiclet. nice. It's got a good manger in flavor. It uh, kind of reminds me of the fruit gummies that you can buy in stores around here, you know, that, that like your grandma had. The, they're even shaped a little like a wedge of an orange. You chew them and they're very, uh, they're basically gummy or all the way through, just not as chewy. But they're they have that kind of flavor to them. They're pretty good. Then we have some little hard candies again. This is... Where are you hiding? Um, why is this not... Oh, there it is. Umi Plum Candy. You may have heard that Umi, or Japanese plums, can be a little sour. So it may take... take the best of these candies, one lick at a time. I'll open it up now, and I'll try it at the end. We've had them before. Well, they're definitely colored. I think. Last one was maybe grape, I guess. Like little gobstoppers in a way. Put you right there. And, let me go ahead and open this so I can show you two of them. That way, without the shiny cigarette style, cigarette box style plastic around it. I knew that the, I guess it's a redesign. Look like Angry Birds in a way. <laughs> uh, these are the Choco Balls. Yeah. Open up this pack of bite sized chocolate balls and you'll be biting through the chocolate coating into these crispy. Biscuit centered candies. And there's a little. You might be able to get it with your phone. A little uh, QR code. There's the back side. I mean, one side. And the top, there's a funny little face right there. It's a make like, oh, type look. And it lifts up on this side. You don't want to come out, eh? Here's your taco. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Those are better than malted milk balls, which are good too. But these have a peanut buttery type crispy center to it, which is really nice. And the other. Uh, I thought there was some other small stuff in here. Uh, got. This thing, which, get it out of my face, is Umi Paper. This candy uses real plum, so get ready to pucker your lips when you experience this unmistakable sour flavor. Okay, that's another one I'll wait to the end here. <laughs> These are new. Kind of reminded me of chocolate animal crackers. That's what it looks like. Momin Valley Biscuit. Momin Choco Biscuit. We've invited the Momin to the party. Open this bag of cocoa biscuits shaped like your favorite characters. See who gets the, on the guest list. Yeah, nothing on the back. Actually, I'll take that back. Nice chocolate scent. They remind me of years ago. We had, if you remember, the Star Wars cookies. They were very much, they, those are awesome. And they came, I think there's two distinct styles. There was like a New Hope and Empire Strikes Back or something like that. But they also had some other cookies in the special. Flintstones, maybe. These are very much like that in style. I love the, the, the print design, the stamp. Mm-hmm. 
like a chocolate shortbread. Very dry though. Mm, where's my drink? <laughs> There's no moisture to it at all, which is a good thing because you don't want that in. But it would be nice if they were chewy, uh, soft, bready. And I don't, I sort of recognize this, but I think it might have been a different packaging. This great taffy looking thing, which is the Funyarch, Funyarch Soft Candy. Enjoy the mellow flavor of this Japanese grapes with a super soft and refreshing grape flavored candy. It melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Well, it won't when you got plastic on it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, it has the same consistency of gum, you know, taffy like gum, but it's very soft. Mm. It's, hmm, that's nice. Reminds me of the grape in Icy's. If you ever had an icing or a softy cone, uh, softy type ice, ice, uh, but the consistency reminds me of a much airier form of haichu, yeah, which are excellent. I always love haichu. I believe the, we've had these before. I mean, we've had vanilla ones in many times. So, but this is the Shimichoko Salt Vanilla. Nothing says party like a bunch of star-shaped snacks. This time, they're back with a seasonable fl seasonal flavor. Vanilla, milk, and a pinch of salt. Computer buzzing. Oof. Wow. That is a strong vanilla. As soon as I cracked it open, it's like, whoosh. Wow. Sm smells like vanilla cream, in a way. It's amazing how little you get in these bags, though. Okay, you got this this big bag, but everything below my fingers, that's what you get. So you're mostly getting air. Well, we've had, we've had vanilla ones of these before. You're normal. And chocolate and strawberry and matcha vanilla um what else we've had would be interesting grape hmm. you have to eat these somewhat quickly because they do go stale fast yeah those are nice there's a that soft Corn type flavor to it with a not overly strong but nice layering of the vanilla flavoring. And a hint of salt. Clippers. Now we go to something salty. Where is this going that way? Look like little crisps, almost like hard uh, French fries. Uh, Ari, French dressing. Ari is an old school crispy rice snack. Oh, it's rice. Nice. These curly ones have a French dressing flavor that'll have you finishing the whole pack in no time. Really, not much of a scent. I mean, rice, but that's about it. It's something almost like toasted rice. But they look like hard and crispy fries. Mmm. Very crunchy. Their flavoring is. It's nice. It's very good. I mean, nothing bad about it. Very light salt, not overpowering. I don't know about a French dressing taste to it. it kind of, it just reminds me of a crouton. 
that we've had many times in different forms. Uh, like a, mo a mochi crouton. I, I mean, it could be a French dressing taste, but I believe it's very minimal. You just all I get is salt, not overpowering, and toasted rice. And the salt is the more predominant flavor. So, but it's not so much that it is like ah, I can't eat that. It's just too salty. It's, but it, it's just noticeable. I don't. French dressing would have to be pumped up on it a lot for it to stand out. And last, we have Coolish. And that's by Lottie, and these are my favorite snacks, so I know it's going to be good. So it's got to be vanilla ice cream. Uh, no, it's pie fruit Coolish. It doesn't look like pie. That looks like vanilla ice cream. These pie fruit mini pies have collaborated with Coolish. They have a delicious vanilla filling and can be... So it is vanilla. It's like vanilla ice cream. So why is it a pie fruit? I guess they're just con say, considering this like a fruit, a pie in pastry. I mean, it's tr to a degree, but I wouldn't call it that. I call it pastry. Because that is exactly what they are. And there's a little cartoon inside. I love the chocolate one. Actually, any of them. Matcha, chocolate, star. I, we might have had strawberry. I believe there was one. That was good. They're, they've never been bad, but they're beautiful little flaky, soft pastries. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That's good. I could polish off a whole box of that in no time. They're like a mini croissant or a eclair in a way, that type of, well, eclairs are usually not that crispy, but more of a, a like a slightly hardened croissant with vanilla in the middle of it. Superb. So that's it for the box. There is one thing I, I wanted to show you. Usually when I go up to my local Chop uh, Asian food store, one of the things I love to get are banana crisps. They make them fresh and have them there on the shelf. I'm not sure exactly where they get them because they don't show. I mean, you get whole banana slices, and they're like a wonderful potato chip. And you can hear it. They're, cool. they're quite strong. They have good teeth, though. They're a little tough. But, if you want a nice, healthy snack, these are excellent. The salt level on them is just right. It's not overpowering. I've tried other um, potato style, potato chip style, banana chips, but they usually make, they make them too sweet most of the time. I mean, the sweet ones are good, the sweet chips. I have some, I've had, had and have some, but I like these because they're more like Lay's potato chips in, in that consistency, that the texture, the saltiness of it, the little bit of saltiness of it. So they're quite, really good. So if you have a place you can get them, snag them. They're excellent. I don't know. If you have local stores that make these kind of banana chips, but I, I highly recommend them. Oh, almost forgot the sour stuff. <laughs> Let's try hard candy. Well, I don't know. Let's go do this one because it's chewy. This is the plum. As you can see there. I guess it's plum and scent. It's hard. It's a little acrid. Yeah. Are they trying to torture kids? Well, the aftertaste is nice, but the it's 
it's got this layer of salt and sugar on it that just doesn't mix very well. It's not sour. It's just that taste when you first get into it. I really can't compare it to something. It's, it's almost like eating salted shoe leather. <laughs> No, I haven't tried that, but it's just the only thing I could think. I think of the gold rush when Charlie Chaplin is having to eat the boot. Kind of reminds me of that kind of reaction. It's like, <laughs> hmm, tastes like plum, but it's not. It's not sour. It's quite pleasantly sweet. So those are good. I mean, we I believe we've had these before, but they were different. I can't remember. It's been a while since we've had these. I don't know if they've changed the packaging. You might have. I, remember, I thought I remember seeing a little kid on the front one time. A little like uh, that Chan character. Chin Chan. Chin Chan. So it might have been that type of uh, packaging at one time. Instead of this. What is it? I guess it's, I guess it's an old man. I mean, that's all that I can see. He's got like a military cap on. Kind of. But they're not sour at all. They're pleasantly sweet. So. All right. I've tried those. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next box. Well, it should be Tokyo Treat, obviously the October issue a release. So thanks for watching and have a pleasant week ahead and take care.